In 2009, I went from my state school in Bristol to Oxford University, where I studied physics for four years at St Peter's College. In 2010, I realised that I had a valuable perspective as an applicant from a state comprehensive school whose parents didn't go to university, and so I made a YouTube channel from Simon Oxford Physics. Sorry about the F, I know it's annoying. And I started making videos. At first, these were answering questions that I got about Oxford all the time. And then eventually, in my fourth year, I vlogged every week about Oxford student life. Then, when I moved to Exeter from Oxford for my PhD, I kept vlogging about my PhD progress, but also branched out and made videos on studying, on music, and vlogger tags. So, what now? There are three kinds of videos that are going to be coming out on this channel in the future. One, vlogging and personal videos. So that's going to include my ex-vlogs where I talk about my PhD progress, but also other topics like my favourite books. Two, science and environmental content. And in particular, more videos on interesting topics in physics. Some related to my research in atmospheric physics, but some not. In the near future, that's going to include videos on the history of pi, on faster than light travel, and how to live sustainably as a student. And lastly, three, educational content. So that's going to include longer form videos like my crash course in atmospheric physics, but also other topics like the nature of teaching and uh, applying for PhDs. So why those kinds of videos? I think that people subscribe to YouTube channels for two reasons. The content that's covered and the way in which that content is presented. Now the videos, the content that I want to make is scientific in nature or educational in nature. I, mean, I love talking about the way that the world works and trying to you know, communicate that to people to educate them. And I'm passionate about education and making sure that everyone has access to it in a fair way. But if I'm going to make those videos, I want to make them my way. I'm not just going to make generic videos, otherwise you could subscribe to any number of other fantastic channels on YouTube. And I'm not saying that I want to make content that's better than Hank Green or CGP Grey or Brady Haran. I want to make content that is my content, that's just different. What I'm trying to say is that this is going to be a hybrid channel. It's not going to be just a science or a studying or an educational channel. It's also my personal channel. So yeah, I am going to make videos that are scientific or educational, made in the manner that I want to make them. But then I'm also going to make videos that are purely personal, like vlogs or talking about books. And some people will be here just for the former and some people will be here just for the latter. Some awesome people will be here for, you know, both. And the point is, all of that's fine. At the end of the day, I'm just going to make the videos that I want to make in the way that I want to make them. And if people like you want to watch them, that's just a bonus. If you like the sound of science through the filter of Simon, or just the idea of me talking about things that I find cool, then stick around, subscribe to the channel. I really look forward to seeing you in the comments. Because I hope that this channel can become a hub for people who are interested in the world, who want to be educated about it and want to go on to do great things and maybe are massive geeks. I'm already so lucky to have an amazing community of people who watch my videos and comment on them and interact with each other. And I want nothing more than for that community to grow and to become more and more interconnected. And that includes you watching this video right now. If you like the sound of all of this, then subscribe to the channel or stick around if you're already subscribed. And I better get back to making more videos.